Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated video for Maya's hair care routine. I have started a playlist on my channel about mixed hair care, and I knew a while ago that I was gonna have to do an updated video because the products I used in her hair care routine were not products I usually use on a regular basis. They were just products that I had at that time. I did a video when Maya was about six to nine months old and I was reviewing the Shea Moisture Carrot and Mango, I think, shampoo. And I used it on her as a toddler. So I did a like review on that. So I'll link that in the description box. I don't use that anymore to this day, but I do still recommend that product. Just be careful with it because it did break out Maya. And I honestly think it had to do with the carrots because at the time Maya really did not like carrots at all, like whatsoever, anything orange kind of like bothered her. So I think that's what it was for her specifically. I do have a couple of Shea Moisture products that I use for her to this day. So in terms of shampoo, I have the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo with sea kelp and argan oil. This is actually something that her and my husband use. It's like two thirds of the way full. So I use this on her hair sometimes. I will switch it up. I don't use the same products every single time because I know from my own experience from growing my hair back and all the things that I've tried on my hair, you don't wanna get your hair used to and accustomed to a specific type of product. So I use this from on her hair kind of like every two washes. I'd say. But I do have this just because there's like hardly anything in this in terms of chemicals. So I really don't want to be using anything with chemicals and silicones and all that on her hair, especially because her hair is curly. And because it is mixed, I'm still trying to figure out, okay, how mixed is her hair? So <laughs> this is something that's relatively brand new. This one is specifically is the Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo for dry damaged hair. Now, again, if you guys are very, very, very brand new to my channel, Maya has a section in her hair back here where her hair is very dry. If you guys have seen her hairstyling videos, I always like part her hair. I really don't like putting her hair in one ponytail or one bun, even though I think it is really cute on her. But just because that specific type of her hair is gets so dry so quickly, I like to part her hair up so that way her hair will always get some type of air and it'll get the moisture that I might not get if it were on the edges of her head. That's why I bought this one for dry damaged hair even though her hair is not damaged but it is dry in that particular section. And so far this is working out really well. It does smell really good. After the second wash it will lather a bit so it looks kind of just like a liquid soap. And I did get a conditioner also by Maya Moisture, which is, I think it was a conditioning, like hydrating conditioner. But for the life of me, I have no idea where it is now. So and I need to find that because I just purchased it. So <laughs> otherwise, in terms of rinse out conditioner, that's it. That's the only one I have as a, as a rinse out conditioner. Everything else, it's kind of like leave-in. One thing that I have committed myself to doing, I'm not gonna put anything on my daughter's hair that I'm not trying myself. So I am currently relaxed, regardless of what it is. Like, I don't care what it is, I'm gonna test it out on myself first. I have used this like for years on my channel. You guys have seen this like a couple of times, like way, way back when, when I was natural. I actually use this now being relaxed as well. So the first time I use it as a full deep condition, cause I've never deep conditioned her hair just because she is young. But I did try it once and it worked wonders, wonders for her curls. And then I actually washed her hair two nights ago and I only use this on the ends just because some of her ends, like I said, in the back of her head can get drier a lot faster. This is something that's really, really awesome. I do like this, but this is definitely not frequently because she doesn't need it at her age. You guys have seen this in a previous video with her hairstyling videos, but this is Olive Miracle by African Pride, the Maximum Strengthening Moisturizing Lotion. Depending on like what my mood is or how much product is in Maya's hair, because I don't like to put a lot of product in her hair. If I feel like she needs some type of moisturization with her curls, I will use this just because it's so lightweight. But I also use the Shea Moisture Sure. coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk you guys can tell by like the bottle like I've had this for a long time but it is a lot thicker than the moisturizing lotion and really I only have to like touch up her hair maybe like twice a week maybe three times a week and otherwise I'll just like freshen it up with like water and then style her hair and you know and take her to school but I do like that I don't have to use very much of this and it will go a long way especially for her curly hair and for the dry section of her hair too I also have the Shea Moisture coconut hibiscus curling gel souffle now this is something that I have used on myself in the past when I was relaxed and I actually didn't like it for my hair but for Maya's hair, it's wonderful, like literally wonderful. But you have to be so careful with this because it leaves that like kind of like a filmy feeling like on your hands. Like right now, just from touching the bottle, I have stuff on my hands. And I've gotten to the point where I'll use this only on her baby hairs just to lay them down or on her ends. Since I do a lot of twists in her hair, it will keep her hair in twists the longest compared to using this. If I leave her hair out, it's usually when we're going to church. I'll do like a specific like, you know, half up, half down type look. And then this will actually hold her hair in place for a, a good while and actually look really, really nice. So I don't have to worry about her poofing out to like here. <laughs>
And then the last product that I have is actually something that I've been looking for for a while. So I just purchased this about maybe two days ago, and this is the Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo. Never thought that I'll ever have to use this on like my daughter's hair, because I never had used it myself. I didn't even know what dry shampoos were until I got to college, and even still, I didn't use it then. So with Maya, she is in soccer, but she does sweat a lot more than I do, so she needs some type of dry shampoo because I don't want to be washing her curly hair every other day. So her scalp, right in the middle of her hair will start to smell. And I didn't know how to correct it at first because I'm not prone to thinking dry shampoo because I've never had to use it before. And while we were in Delaware a couple months ago, my mom had Dove dry shampoo and it worked wonders. It smelled so great and it immediately took care of the little smell that she had on her hair because I couldn't wash her hair just yet. I ended up buying this from CVS and I used it yesterday, last night on her hair just to freshen up her hair. And I'm so grateful for, for dry shampoo because it's worked out so well for her, especially when she goes to have her soccer days, which is once a week. That's basically it with everything I use with her hair. These are all products that I've used the longest, so I felt more comfortable with making a curly, updated hair care routine for her mixed hair. But if you guys have any questions about anything, I will leave links to everything I talked about in this video in the description box. I'm getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments from people who have mixed kids or people who are mixed and have like a lot of curly hair. Please continue to comment that down in the comment section. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.